During World War I, Henry was one of the earliest American volunteers to serve on the Western Front as an ambulance driver. And kind of as a side note, I've been you know, doing a great deal of research for this book, and I was surprised that the literary volunteers of World War I, the American ambulance drivers, uh, there's a terrific book uh, called The Gentleman Volunteers about the ambulance drivers, many, many uh, essays and articles, so many of our, our early, you know, our literary uh, figures from the 20th century were involved there. Uh, Ernest Hemingway, uh, Malcolm Cowley, E.E. Um, uh, e. Cummings. And I've always been shocked why Henry Beston, who actually, he was in places like Verdun. I mean, he wasn't just there for a little while. He was there on the front lines while the shooting was going on. <clears throat> I was always curious why Henry Beston's name was never included among that roster. And then, of course, it became obvious to me when I thought about it because the book that he wrote about that experience, uh, A Volunteer Poilu, uh, was written under his given name. It was Henry Sheehan, not Henry Beston. So many of the people who've done these histories don't realize that the Henry Sheehan who both wrote that book about being a volunteer ambulance driver was the Henry Beston, who became famous later as writer of the Admiral's House. I always wondered why they would leave him out when he was one of the real front liners. Well, after, um, after coming back from the war, he wrote two books about his experience. One was Volunteer Poilu, about serving as an ambulance driver. And by the way, those of you who went, to the, uh, went down to the, the shack today, saw on the, one of our little decorations was a, a copy of uh, Le Mouchoir, on the wall. Uh, that was the newsletter that the troops on the front where Henry was stationed uh, would pass out in the trenches. So we thought that was a good one to leave out there in the, uh, in the, in the hut. Uh, 